Ever since the Industrial Revolution, humans have been emitting greenhouse gases. These gases form a layer that is capturing heat and warming up the planet. This causes the Earth's climate to change. Kenya, for example, has experienced change in rainfall characteristics causing flooding, droughts and desertification, along with heat waves and new areas being exposed to malaria and other diseases. The impacts of climate change are already visible in Kenya, but scientists agree that the worst is yet to come. Children are uniquely vulnerable to the climate crisis and at a significantly higher risk of harm than adults. Children's bodies are still developing and are less able to cope with disasters. Furthermore, climate change has prolonged the recent drought in Kenya, which in turn caused children to drop out of school because they had to take their livestock to areas further away than usual, looking for food and water, spending time that should have been spent in school. If we are unprepared, climate change will hit vulnerable communities the hardest, infringing on children's rights. Although it is unlikely we will prevent climate hazards, we can prevent disasters. Knowing where and how children are exposed and vulnerable to climate change and other risk. That is why the Kenyan Climate Change Directorate worked with UNICEF to develop the Children's Climate and Disaster Risk Model. This interactive model provides a platform where you can see per county how children are exposed and vulnerable to climate change and natural hazards. Selecting Turkana County will show that dominant exposures are droughts and floods and that a lot of children are vulnerable because they have poor water access and are out of school. In the model, exposure and vulnerabilities together make risk. The risk in that county is therefore really high. The model can be used by everyone. It can help you to access the climate risks in your community and get prepared. In fact, disaster risk reduction is all about being prepared for when disasters hit. For example, putting up a gutter on your roof to harvest rainwater helps your community to access safe water. This reduces the risks of your community to drought. Policymakers, NGOs and others can now better assess the risks and invest in risk reduction measures such as flood protection for schools and communities, climate resilient agriculture and water supply and more. With the focus on children. By knowing where and how children are at risk from climate change and other hazards, lives and livelihoods can be saved through preparedness and early actions. Access the Children's Climate and Disaster Risk Model now.